Welcome back to PSIS Tech Byte. This week I want to talk with you about how to leverage uh, PMP.js library to manage lists and libraries uh, in uh, SharePoint Online or SharePoint On-Premises. First of all, let me remind you that PMP.js uh, is an open source library which provides a bunch of uh, fluent APIs to manage SharePoint On-Prem or SharePoint Online, as well as, if you are online, the Microsoft Graph and Office 365 APIs more in general. It is an open source project, as I told you, and you can find it on GitHub under github.com slash pmp slash pmpjs. And it is based on community effort. You can use it in uh, TypeScript and SharePoint framework, uh, in JavaScript or in Node.js, or more in general, in whatever platform uh, you want, as long as you have NPM uh, support. In fact, it is provided as a set of NPM packages uh, uh, under the name of add pmp slash uh, and the name of the package that you want to install. Uh, if you want to have further details about pmpjs, uh, you can have a look to the uh, PSC Tech Byte video number 18 that I recorded a few weeks ago. So, uh, from a lists and libraries managing perspective, uh, in the pmpjs library there are methods that you can use uh, to access uh, the lists and libraries that you have in a site. For example, you can ensure the existence of a list, you can add a new list, you can get a reference to a list based on the ID or on the title of the target list. As well as, you can play, for example, with the information architecture of your lists. Uh, just to make an example, you can add a new field using a, a generic method or using specific fully typed method to add uh, numeric field, uh, text field, uh, and all the other flavors of field that you have uh, in uh, SharePoint. As well as, you can add a field uh, as a bunch of XML based on the camel syntax. So, let's move to the demo environment and let's see how to play with PMPJS uh, and with lists and libraries in uh, SharePoint. So, here we are in the PMPJS library GitHub repo where you can see the full source code is available as well as uh, the list of packages that you can download uh, using npm as well as there is uh, a pmp.github.io pmpjs section to which you can find uh, getting started information and all you need uh, to start playing with uh, pmpjs the focus of today in this demo will be an extension which is provided through the sp starter kit uh, uh, sample project that we released as PMP uh, during the SharePoint conference North America and especially I will focus on a extension which allows you to redirect a page uh, to another URL. In fact uh, this extension uses a custom list uh, to store the list of redirections uh, and we want to ensure that the list uh, exists in the target site. So Basically, we imported using uh, npm the pmpjs library. Then there is an import in the extension source code uh, in order to get sp, which is a type available in uh, at pmp slash sp uh, package for pmpjs, uh, as well as a uh, few more uh, types that we need uh, in our implementation. Uh, in the onInit method of my client-side extension, I run the setup method of the sp type which is available in this package and I simply set the context, the spfx context that the uh, pmpjs library will use uh, to have access uh, to the http client for SharePoint as well as to the graph client and all the other stuff needed uh, to talk uh, over REST and HTTPS uh, with the backend uh, APIs. In fact, under the cover, uh, SPPMPJS uh, using a bunch of REST APIs provided by uh, SharePoint. Moreover, we have a custom method uh, which is uh, called uh, ensure redirections list, uh, which will simply double check uh, for the existence of a list that we need in our implementation. And here I have uh, sp.web to access the current website, dot lists to get the collection of lists, and the ensure method, which will accept the name of the list I'm looking for, as well as uh, the type of list and the title of list, uh, and the instructions uh, to uh, create that list uh, with uh, uh, content types or not. As you can see from the signature, I can provide the title, the description, the template, and the enable content types uh, flag, as well as uh, uh, many other options if I like. So the ensure method will simply double check if the list exists. And if it does, you will get back the list ensure result object, uh, which will give you direct access to the list. 
otherwise it will create the list for you and it will still give you back uh, uh, the just created list if the list uh, is available whether it has been just created or it was already existing but you will get it back uh, and you will be able to see if it has just been created uh, by querying the created boolean property of the result and if it has just been created uh, i want to be sure that i have uh, specific fields custom fields uh, in the information architecture of my list that's why with the just created list uh, i access the fields collection and i add a field of type url a field of type boolean and whatever else i need as well as i can update any of the specific fields that i just created and as you can see whenever i execute uh, whenever i call these methods i always use the asynchronous pattern of typescript which is really useful and nice and whenever i do something i use the uh, fluent api of pmpjs so i access my target uh, object and my target method through a fluent uh, set uh, of uh, objects in a hierarchy which represents uh, the current web the collection of lists the collection of fields in a specific list uh, and so on and so forth on the contrary if the list uh, has not just been created it means that the list was already there so i simply double check uh, that the list has in its collection of fields uh, the fields i'm looking for so that in case of any missing field uh, i can raise an exception and let the user know that there is something wrong uh, in the already existing list could be another list with the same name but with a different information architecture or could be that the list uh, has been somehow changed or tampered by someone else and so we need to raise uh, an exception this is a very useful approach because you can simply ensure the existence of a list to create it if it doesn't exist and then you can play around the fields uh, simply adding them uh, or double checking that they exist uh, using the pmpjs uh, fluent uh, api once you have done that uh, you can go back uh, and you can get the list uh, you are looking for and you can make for example a camel query targeting the list uh, and getting all of the items that you need uh, which satisfy the camel query you provide uh, to the uh, PMP REST, uh, to the SharePoint Online uh, REST APIs. That's it. Really, really easy, really simple, and really uh, helpful when you need to create a list uh, on the fly. As usual, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.